Hey, good morning, Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Monday, or Tuesday rather. I just walked out here to the beach. And there was a dolphin swimming offshore. He's getting ahead of us now. He's swimming up the beach. Let's see if we see him come up again. He's right up there. Almost, I don't know if you can see him coming up out there. Just offshore. Slowly making its way up the beach. I'm down in area one. I don't know if you can see him out there or not. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. It's hard with all the reflections out there. It's hard to predict which way he's going. He's swimming back and forth. There he is. He's coming towards us. I think. Uh, almost right straight out there. There he is. All right, now it hasn't surfaced. <laughs> There he is, he's playing around over in here. Right in that big reflection. Coming in a little closer. See him sticking his nose up there? There he is. Isn't that cool? In a while since we've seen our dolphins. Oop, there he is over here. Now he's heading back up the beach. Taking his time. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, there he is over there. There he is again. Taking his sweet time getting up the beach this morning. He's chasing some fish around out there. You can see the fish jumping. Here he comes, right in by us. Oh, he didn't surface. He came right up to the beach, but he didn't surface. There he is again. He might come in closer, but he's gonna have to swim out around the sandbar here soon. He's going faster now. A great morning, huh? Starting off with the dolphin sighting. Gotta love it. Got to love it. It's nicer when the sun's up and it's nice and bright. But... He's gonna swim out now. Go out into deeper water. Maybe not. You see that water churning? He's out there. Yep. Oh, he's working his way. He's gone back. I believe. Where, yep. He's out here over here out in this area
There, he just stuck his nose up. It'd be great if he came in and said good morning, huh? There's a mom and her and her daughter swam out there. At the, to get a closer look. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he just swam by him. Which way he goes. Still heading up the beach. Yep. Yes, good boy. Where'd he go? There he is, still out there. Oh, he's going back now. Getting back closer to the people. Oh, he went past them. <laughs> Where'd he go? Yes, big boy. Hey, Brady. Look, look Where did he go? Go, go out there, and see the dog there he is, there. out there. Is he gonna turn around? Where did he go? did he go? Oh, here he is. He's over here. Right over here. I don't see him. I cannot see the water rippling. He's going a little deeper. A lot of times you can follow him. See him surfacing there? That is cool. He's just taking his sweet time out here. Going up and down the beach. Did he go? Great to start off the morning seeing a dolphin. Means we're going to have a wonderful day today. Who's over here now? He's heading back down the beach, back south. Just on the edge of the camera there, sorry. It's really hard predicting where they're gonna come up. I was gonna start my beach walk down at the end of the beach in area one. And then I came out and here was a dolphin. Out here in front of me. I see the fish jumping. Where is he? There he is. What a fun morning. go. Whoop. Come on, swim right up to the beach to the camera for us. Put on a great show. <laughs> we haven't had one of those dolphin shows in a while. He's heading back down here. He's moving fast now. Yeah. 
taking them offshore there. I'll probably be turning around and heading the other direction here in a minute. Follow them down a little further. Yesterday I was talking to one of the park rangers after my beach walk and he said there were 50 sea turtle nests on the beach as of yesterday. That's good news. I only saw 48, so the other two must have been down at the very south end of the park. That's why I wanted to start my walk down there in area one this morning. Instead, this dolphin, we saw this dolphin out here and I started chasing the dolphin up and down the beach. He's still out there. Here he comes. You see the water swirling there, where is he? Where is he? There he is. Just barely stuck his nose up out of the water there. Where'd you go? He's still making his way south. Still going south there. I figured he'd be turning around soon. It's fun. Zoom in closer, but you'd never see them because there's no way of knowing where they're going to come up. Every once in a while, they'll come right into shore. Down here, we got plenty of water. It's not like up in Area 4 where the water is only ankle deep. There it is again. He looks like he's heading all the way back down. There he is. Where'd he go? I think I see him out here, yep. See some ripples right out here. Stop for a second. There he is. Where's he going? I think he ran into some fish out here. Where'd he go? Oh, he's going back now. He's over, he's going the other direction. That water swirling around. It's right out there somewhere. There's his fin. Right out where that water's swirling around is where the dolphin is. Oh, just stuck his nose up out of the water. Oh, there he was. Saw his face. He's got a fish he's playing with, playing with his food.
Okay, is he gonna come down the beach again? He's going right towards these people. He'll go right around them. Oh, look how close he got. How cool. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, he's right here in front of us. Right here in front of us. There he is. Up over here. Sorry, getting out of my out of my frame. There he is again. Pelican flying by. Well, he'll be turning around and going back, I guarantee it. But we spent quite a while here following this guy up and down the beach this morning. That was fun. And that's what these dolphins do. They just swim back and forth along the shore, chasing fish. See a fish jumping. Come on, jump up out of the water, Mr. Dolphin. There he is. There he is. That was cool. Now we'll swim back out. back in towards us. Where'd he go? Oh, down here. Oh, getting ahead of me again. He's got to turn around and go back up the beach. Nope, over here.
him bubbling here. Where'd he go? Oh, he's out. There he is. Wow. What a blast, huh? What a great morning. That was fun. Got my exercise for the morning. There he goes. Heading down towards Vanderbilt Beach. That was fun. Well, you might turn around and head back up the beach this morning, but I want to get my beach walk in here. We're all the way down at the south end of the park now. All the way down in area one. Down where the condos start. Beautiful morning. Started out with a dolphin sighting. Chased him up and down the beach probably 15, 20 minutes. I have no long idea how long we've been going live. But that was fun. Now it's time to do our beach walk. Yesterday, one of the park rangers said there were 50 nests on the beach. I only saw 48 marked nests, but there could have been a couple down here at the south end. I hadn't even looked at the beach yet. <laughs> I just and following that dolphin back and forth this morning. Maybe they'll make another appearance later. That's what happens. The dolphins just swim offshore back and forth. And you notice he didn't get up to the north end of the park. He only got up to, oh, about the south end of area three. So they're kind of staying away from that new sandbar and where that barge is and everything. Beautiful out here. Way earlier this morning, all these clouds were beautiful red, red and orange. Some big rainstorms. Down to the south, look at that, that's all rain. Those are rain clouds down to the south. Beautiful image though, beautiful picture, beautiful colors. Wow, some, some of our sea turtles, look at that. I forget what number of nests that is. Some, one of them crawled way up into the dunes here. Is that a new one or an old one? I've lost track of these nests. That is nest 14, look at that. That is way up there in the dunes. Good for her. in the sea oats. Good safe place for a nest.
see our rangers out there on the beach. I don't know if you can see the lights on their little four-wheeler. It's one of our little snowy egrets there. Out looking for breakfast. Oh, sorry, bud. nest is that up there? Oh, well, there's an S49. An S49 right next to the marker. That was an easy one to map. <laughs> it was right next to the survey marker. They mark all the locations of these nests. They map them out. And that's 49 right there. And that's 26 in front of it. This is nest 23 in the front. I don't know what number that is. I don't see the number on the one in the back, 21. Or just out here. This is right about where I originally started this morning and I saw that dolphin I just kind of popped on there's a little snowy egret sitting there beautiful out here absolutely gorgeous pretty still right now pretty muggy Big rain, big thunder clouds out there, big rainstorm out there in the Gulf. Those clouds gorgeous. I'll take a quick shot of them. Just love those big puffy white clouds, white and gray with the blue in the morning. Beautiful. We got a crawl up here. Let's see our one of our rangers up here in the picnic area. We have another one of these sea turtles wanting to have a picnic lunch. Or is he just picking up trash up here? Sadly, people leave their trash in these picnic areas for the park staff to pick up. I think they're at a hotel or something. balloons, all kinds of junk. That's sad. That's sad to see that. Pick up your trash, folks. These balloons are deadly. See that Mylar balloon bouncing around there? Those things, when they deflate, they cause all kinds of, create all kinds of havoc with the marine life. Pick up your trash, people. Come out and have a good time. Enjoy the beach. Enjoy this beautiful paradise. Please, let's keep it that way. Keep it beautiful. Keep it clean. I think I'll go up and chat with Roy. That's probably about as far north as we'll get today. So I spent a lot of time this morning chasing that dolphin. But it was fun. Definitely gave me some exercise. <laughs>
Not many shells here along the beach this morning. What number of nests was that? I think that was nest. Oh, that's 32, yeah. The newer nest, you see that an older nest over there, the stakes are white. The newer ones, most recent ones, are just raw wood. Must have ran out of stakes. <laughs> I haven't seen any crawl tracks on the beach this morning. The majority of the nests are in areas one, two, and three. A couple in area four. There's one that I know of and one in area five, that's it. Beautiful out here. Look at that sky. Absolutely gorgeous. Snowy took off. Good morning. Up at the north end of Area 2 Beach now. Turn around and give you a look down south. out into the Gulf. Beautiful, yeah, just a beautiful view down there, early morning light, definitely worth a picture. Alrighty, I'm back, I am back. Let's hope that dolphin would swim back this way here. Maybe as I walk back down the beach and the sun's up, a little brighter. It was kind of hard seeing him this morning, but we got a couple good looks at him. I hope you were able to see it in the live feed. Yeah, nest number 39 over here. That looks like where they ran out of the painted stakes at <laughs> nest number 39. So from 39 up is just the plain wooden stakes to mark the turtle nests. Still no signs of any crawls on the beach. Any fresh crawls. I still haven't seen nest number 50. The ranger said there were 50 nests yesterday. It's possible it could be up behind the trees. Every once in a while, those sea turtles crawl way up under the beach into the picnic areas. So you never know.
How you doing? Yeah, how are you? Great. That barge is still out there. You can see it, that little speck out there. But it's not pumping, that's a good thing. Our water is really clearing up nice there. No more pumping, no more dredging going on. Keeping our fingers crossed that that's over with. You can see the rain out there behind it. It's a ways offshore there, fortunately. <laughs> Morning. How are you? peaceful out here this morning. Just a handful of people out here so far. I haven't seen my friend Angelo out here for taking his morning walk. He'll probably be out in a little while. Nothing like starting your morning at the beach, starting your day at the beach. Absolutely wonderful. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Dangerous, but impressive. Look at this big sea turtle. Look at the size of this thing. That's probably seven feet, eight feet. That thing is gigantic. Look at the size of him. Wow. I'm gonna move that stick so I can take a picture. Look at that, that thing is gigantic, to say the least. Hang on, I'm gonna take a photo. Very, very cool. A big sand sculpture of a sea turtle. And it's huge. That is huge. Wow. Let's snap one more photo, bear with me. Very, very cool. For those of you that never saw a sea turtle on the beach, there you go. <laughs> That's neat. Ironic though that it's a major obstacle for a nesting sea turtle crawling up on the beach, but it sure is neat looking. You can see the waves breaking on the sandbar out here. Starting to see a few shells on the beach now. Nothing major yet, Just little bits and pieces.
Oh, I don't care. My morning was made already early this morning with that dolphin. I don't care if I find any shells. I'd like to find some nice shells, but that dolphin this morning was wonderful seeing that. You have to watch the beginning of the live feed, the replay. I don't know how long I spent walking up and down the beach following the dolphin. It's kind of hard to see, but you definitely see him out there. A couple times he came into shore. It's just hard telling where they are. I'm getting them centered in the camera. We're quite a ways off to our low tide here. So the water is kind of high. So a lot of the shells that we normally find are still out in the water that we see up on the beach. But nonetheless, it's gorgeous out here. No signs of any new crawls. There's a little ghost crab hole. I haven't seen any ghost crabs running around on the beach. I've seen their holes, so they're around. As soon as they spot you, they run back into their hole. It's hard getting a shot of them. You gotta have a really long zoom lens to get a picture of them. Old crow. <laughs> there I'm there. What is he squawking at? What are you complaining about? You got something to eat there on the beach? <laughs> really? You don't say. Really? What else? I don't know. Well, there you go. Guess he was telling me off. Thinks it's his beach. Yeah, I see Roy sitting up there. We'll go say hi to him. See how he's doing this morning. What are you doing there, you noisy old crow? <laughs> well, the water's great. It's definitely cleared up here since the dredging stopped. Got a couple pelicans sitting out there on the sandbar. Looks like some of those royal terns there with it. This is up in area four. Go 
So say hi to Roy. It's still kind of, the tide's a little high still for some good shelling. Still always nice just to come out here no matter what. There's one little worm shell down there. Pretty much always count when I'm finding a worm shell, a little piece of a worm shell. I don't think we're going to be finding many shells up at this part of the beach up in Area 4 anymore. I'm going to have to go out into the water to find them. An old olive shell. With all this new sand that they pumped out here, they dumped out here. We've got sandbars now all along out here that are blocking the the tide when it comes in. So all the shells are probably going to get caught up on those sandbars, and that's where the good shelling is going to be just offshore. So when low tide comes, that's where I'd be looking. But it's gonna take a little while too. There's a little pile of old shells here. see anything down there. Maybe after I chat with Roy, I'll take a walk out onto that one sandbar that's sticking up. Not much of it exposed though yet. Let's see how Roy's day is going. What's up, Roy? Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Oh, I'm a doing fine. That's wonderful. How are you a doing? I just had the greatest experience. You did? What happened? There was a rainbow in that cloud. Was there? Did you I, see it? I didn't see it. Oh, it was lovely. It just a rainbow. Wasn't a big arch, but it was in that cloud just there. Just a piece of a rainbow? Cloud. Nice. Oh, it was just beautiful. And it gave me a great idea. What's that? Well, you know, after this book is selling so well, I'm pleased about that. I was going to write a book about flowers, uh -huh. which I think would be really interesting. have a lot of beautiful pictures. And now, after the flowers book, I'm going to write a book about rainbows. Well, there you go. I have all kinds of pictures of beautiful rainbows throughout the world. You know, doubles, triples, oh my. And then a little little thing about how they're formed and rainbows around the world. Well, yeah, there you go. Wouldn't that be beautiful? <laughs> mm-hmm. Because I think rainbows are so beautiful. And now, of course, there's a, the fact that it's a God message to us. He's bringing us good news with the rainbow and all those good things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. it's a thrilling thing, rainbows. So how was your your... Uh, morning prayers down there at the pass. Oh, was great. I didn't have a lot of color, but I had a little bit of it, and the sun came up, so that was always beautiful. Oh, it's always good when the sun comes oh, up. Oh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a special time in life. Isn't it, though? And Dave Henry, I, I saw him on the beach, too. He's the one who's, you know, arranging everything with the books, and uh -huh. he was down here this morning. We had a nice chat. So it's beautiful down here, just beautiful. But that rainbow was really something special. Oh, that's great. This Any, morning, that cloud, oh, there was lightning and boomers those, in it. Oh, the colors, something out there with these big clouds, oh, all the yeah. red and the yellow. Spectacular. The, the colors spectacular. are incredible out in the Gulf. I tell you. 
So I think that'd be an interesting thing to yeah, do. Yeah, there you go. So did you see any manatees or anything this morning? No, no, no dolphins or manatees. I think all this dredging is keeping the dolphins probably out farther out. Yeah, they were, they're not coming up here. I saw, I followed one this morning up and down the beach down there for about 20 minutes this Oh, morning. really? Yeah. He was just swimming back and forth. Really? There oh. were some people went out and he swam up by them. Just well, swam just real close to Just this morning them. down the beach? Yeah. Oh, really? I wish yeah, I they're staying down at the other end, I think, now. I haven't seen dolphins in quite a spell. Yeah, it's too shallow for them here. Yeah, yeah. They got to come over these new sandbars. They'll figure it out eventually, but. Yeah. yeah. Well, they've moved that big bargey thing down Thank there. Thank goodness. Right? Hopefully they're done. I was talking Hard to. Hard to tell, all right. Yeah, I was talking to one of the Rangers. They're not even sure if they're done yet. Oh, the Rangers aren't in there. I wonder who, who engaged them and who's paying the bill. That's still These condos of... up the river. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Are they auditing the operation too? I doubt it. I think they need an auditor. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so they came yesterday they turned two turtles loose down on the beach, two turtles about that big. They released them back into the water really? yesterday morning, yep, yeah, about a little after nine. That was kind of neat to see. Why did they have them out? Because they were they were all caught up, I guess, in fishing line, and they oh, rescued really? them, and they were hurt, and they had to rehabilitate them. Oh, that's good. So then they released them. Oh, good show. Yep. So they swam off. Didn't take them. They were in the water and gone like that. I'll bet. In the blink of an eye. <laughs> but it was fun. They had two young, two young like schoolgirls release them. I don't know how they chose those two girls. They were excited to do that. I'll bet. Yep. So that was. They'll never get to How'd do that. How'd they bring again. them down here? They came in a they came in a van from the place where they took care of them. I think they came from Sanibel. And how'd they carry them out here? Just in big con plastic containers. Oh, really? They're in yeah. a big box, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with a with a towel over them so they, you know, so they didn't get turtles in the box. Turtles huh? in the box. Yeah. It was neat. <laughs> there was a lot of people. It was on the news last night several times. It was pretty cool. How big were they? Oh, maybe about this. Maybe. Oh, they weren't the big monsters. No, they're they're Kemp's Ridley turtles. They get about two feet in size. Yeah. Yeah. We got three Some or four different Some of these sea kinds. turtles are huge. I saw. Oh yeah, the loggerhead sea turtles are the on big the beach. ones. Holy mackerel! Yeah, they look like dinosaurs crawling yeah. on the beach. The lo the not the loggerheads. I mean the uh, leatherbacks. They're the ones that get leather huge. Backs, huh? Leatherbacks. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> These loggerheads are like I think the middle size. Well, all of nature is so interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> all the animals and life and everything, and fish in the sea, and you know, birds there's and, birds when, in the sky. There's a thing up there. It shows you all the different sea turtles. You know, the different yeah. sizes and everything's yeah. up in Area Five, up where you used to and go and the birds look at the outside flowers. and the animals. It's just yep. Certainly, the variety of it is certainly interesting. It sure is. And then you got all the ugly people out here. <laughs> well, some, but most no. people are very nice and friendly. You know, everybody's nice out here. This is our, our little country club. Yeah, it is. <laughs> everybody's very friendly here. This is our little community, and you're the mayor. Oh, and these uh, Mexican types are so good with their kids. Oh, yeah. yesterday it was so cute. They had a, a little guy, and they put him in the water, and out, and oh, he ran around. <laughs> oh, he was cute. I saw a little, like, an Asian family, a guy with his father with his three little daughters the other day, and they saw one of these white birds here on the beach, you know, and they yeah. were they were calling it a baby flamingo. Baby flamingo, baby flamingo. Baby flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Oh. Yeah, so what you gonna do today? You know, I heard the beach, this place filled up over the weekend. I'll bet it did. Yeah, I think well, it did. It was a hot weekend, too. It yeah. was a scorcher. Oh, well, I'm going for a bunch of swims. Yeah, going to swim out halfway to Texas there? Probably, yeah. Uh, you were way out there yesterday. Oh, that wasn't too far. I've been a lot farther than that. Yeah. <laughs> I got my noodly thing. Well, oh, yeah. Up well, at least good. you'll float to Texas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you get caught in a run out, that's kind of... Kind of um, 
a little bit uh, yeah, scary. Unfortunately, we don't have those too too often here. Yeah. Look pretty good on this coast. It's well, I got caught in one one time, and it's yeah, a, you don't want to fight it. It's disconcerting, believe oh, me. Oh yeah. You wonder if you're going halfway to China or not if you can get out of it. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people drown because they just want to fight it and try and swim back oh, in. There's no shore. way you can swim against it. Yep, nope, those rip tides. Just let it take you out and eventually it'll stop. Oh boy. Well, we got some good advice from you yesterday. You got any advice for us before I leave this morning? Advice? Advice. Give us some advice. Advice. Some good advice. Good advice. Yeah, good advice. All my advice is good advice. Of course it is. <laughs> well, I tell you, I hate to be repetitious, but it's so unbelievably beautiful down here that my advice is people come down to the shore and, and enjoy the journey. Come down here and see the sky and the clouds and the rainbows and the, sea and the waves and the birds and the flowers and oh my well, there you just, go so you're sending out an invitation this is glorious glorious and you know everybody uh, can't live right near the ocean i'm sure there's uh, there's oh, yeah. parks every place there's parks fortunately and so they can get to the park and have a walk and chat with friends and just get out and around and see the beauty of it there you go <laughs> just get back to nature yeah. yeah, yeah. there's always something new and different, like this morning, that little rainbow. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Yeah, always something new and different. We're spoiled down here, having all this, this beach so close. Well, we're really blessed is the way I look at yeah. it, really blessed, and I appreciate the blessing. Boy, every morning I give thanks. <laughs> I give thanks a thousand times. Well, there's a lot of people watching. This is the only way they see the beach is through us. Like well, they say people that all commented the time. on that, that they like seeing all the shells yeah. you show them and the whole well, they bit. Like, they like just being able to see the beach in the morning. Uh -huh. That's, well, we're a lot blessed of people to be near will never beach. get that opportunity. Isn't all that my life I've lived near beaches, and I really, beaches are kind of part of me. Yep, we can tell. Because back in Milwaukee, we were near the Lake Michigan, and we used mm -hmm. to down, down there. <laughs> And even beautiful. in wintertime, it was beautiful down there. Oh boy, there'd be big, big, big ice and mounds and the whole bit. And sometimes there'd be holes in the ice and the waves would poofs ah. blow up like a geyser and everything freeze. And yeah, the winter is, is beautiful too. Sure. By, by the sea. Sure. Well, this was the lakes, but beautiful. That Lake Michigan would stir up pretty good sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Huh. All right, well. You enjoy the rest of your day here. You gonna spend the day? Oh, a good part of it. Good, por good por portion of it, huh? I was gonna see Dave Henry later on this app, but he's gonna take a, a test, a study for a test for his uh, mathematics professorship oh, okay. to get to a higher level. So he's still studying even though he's a professor. Yep, and that's so something. Everybody's gotta keep studying. Yep, keep studying, keep good advice. On. Never stop learning. That's right. Never stop learning. It's a thrill. There's so much to learn, my right, George. <laughs> so how's the book sales going? Good. You said they're doing good. Yeah, you, yeah, they're coming along. You get a couple orders every day, or it seems that way. Good, good, good. Well, hopefully they'll just keep on coming. Oh, well, it's a we thrill. We can say we knew Roy when. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I'll make a whole lot of bucks on it, but yeah. it's it's just been a fun project and project. Got to know some new people and yeah, yeah kind of an interesting environment. I never done anything like that before. There new things go. are always interesting. Absolutely, new things. Yeah. All right. Whole new world. Isn't that the truth? Whole new world. Every Isn't morning, it? it's a new day. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. All right, Roy. Well, it's good seeing you. Wonderful seeing you, Rob. Good luck with everything. And we'll see you sooner than later, I'm sure. Stay healthy, that's amazing. Stay healthy, you got that right. God bless. Tally ho. Bro. Tally ho. <laughs> Gorgeous out here this morning. Like Roy said, just if you don't have a beach to go to, go to a park, go somewhere, go out, go outside and just take in the beauty of nature and just relax, clear your head. 
We are so blessed, so spoiled to have this beach so close to us, Roy and I. Look how clear that water is out there. Isn't that beautiful? Last week it was all muddy and murky. All that dredging was going on. Now it's really clearing up nicely. Might take a little stroll out to the sandbars here. through the water here. You never know what you, we might find crawling around on the bottom. Water's about ankle deep right here. Beautiful though. So nice not having that barge over here. It's still out there, but you can see it's way down there, way far down there and out further away from the beach. Thank goodness. Tide's still making its way out. See if there's anything got caught up around this little pile of sand. out here in the water. That water is 86 degrees. Really, really warm. Oh. I'm not seeing anything out here. I bet after we have a couple big storms, these big thunderstorms we get out in the Gulf, it's going to start bringing up some really interesting shells out here. There's a look back down to the south. At our beach paradise. That's where the photo. Okay, I am back. Just, I'm just offshore of Area 4 Beach, Del Norwegians in North Naples. Just checking along the edge of one of these new piles of sand they dumped out here. If anything got caught, any, any neat shells or anything got caught along the edge of it. Not really seeing anything yet. I'll walk across to this other sandbar. I don't want to scare those birds away. We 
at the reflections of the, on the bottom. There's a really old whelk shell down there. Part of an old whelk shell. Well, that's heavy. That's what started to fossilize. Very, very heavy. There's a royal, royal terns out there on the end of the sandbar. Royal terns and a couple brown pelicans. Side by side, the pelicans. Beautiful out here this morning. I'm gonna take a quick picture, bear with me. All right, I'm gonna head back down the beach here. Really don't see any shells out here. This is all sand that was pumped up out of Wiggins Pass. Pumped, and it was pumped down here. It was dredged out of Wiggins Pass, actually like vacuumed out of the pass and pumped down here. That's what these little, these new little sandbars are. These new little islands we have here. So there's a lot of rocks and stuff in them. A lot of shells broken shells. Oh, here's something we have not seen in a while. I don't want to scare these birds. I want to put this back in the water. Glad to see they're out here. Glad to see they're alive. Here's a sea star, a nine-armed sea star. Definitely alive. I'm gonna, I'll show you his little feet moving around on the bottom of his arms there. If you look close, you should be able to see his little feet moving. Oh, I'm so happy to see one of these. We have not seen any sea stars since this dredging began. And here's one here, a nine-armed sea star. I'm gonna rinse it off. Give you a good look at it. Then I'm gonna walk it out into the water. Beautiful, the nine-armed sea stars. Very happy to see one of these. I take a photo of it real quick. So we can share it with everybody that's not watching live now. Bear with me. Great. I'm going to put him back in the water. I don't know how long he was up on that sandbar. 
Glad to see they're still here. I'll sit him back down here in the water. Whenever you find these on the beach, don't throw them, don't pick them up and just heave them out into the water. Take them out and carry them and sit them down. You wouldn't like it if somebody just picked you up and threw you out in the water. <laughs> the nine armed sea star. Happy to be back in the water, I'm sure. I'm glad I walked out here. I don't know if there's any more up there, but I don't want to disturb those birds over there. Always keep your distance from the shorebirds. Don't run up on them. Don't feed them. Don't let your kids chase them. Be respectful. I'll take a couple pictures, so don't go away. Beautiful. You see, it's a pretty big drop off right here from the sandbar. Saw a dolphin this morning and then just saw a sea star. That was great. A live nine arm sea star. Beautiful. It's always one of my favorite views looking back up the beach. Gotta take a picture. Beautiful. That's one of my favorite views looking back at area four where Roy sits. Oh, Pelican just dove in the water behind me over here. Really, really shallow out here. Nice and clear. Oh, there goes the Pelican. Off, off for another fish. Oh, thought that might have been a murex shell for a second. Just a rock. You're not going to be doing any swimming here. This is definitely waiting right now. Up in area four. Gotta go a ways out to do some swimming. You can see, very, very shallow here. Shallow but beautiful. It's gorgeous. Loving it out here. What's that down there? Oh, a piece of an old conch shell. Looks like a piece of an old horse conch. A broken horse conch. Wow. Maybe a crown. Maybe an old crown conch. Looks more like a horse conch. piece of a horse conch. That water gorgeous. Well, time to head back down the beach and start calling it a morning. Had a great walk this morning. Started out with a dolphin sighting, followed a dolphin up and down, 
the south end of the beach. That was fun. Always, always great to see a dolphin. Good luck when you see a dolphin in the morning. Let me get back up on dry land here. Morning. Morning, how are you guys doing today? Good. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> That's why we come here. You got that right. Absolutely beautiful out here this morning. Just a little breeze kicking in now. A little breeze makes all the difference in the world. Look at that sky, isn't that something? Is that not gorgeous? Those blue clouds, the blue of the water today, the water is really picking up the blue of the sky this morning. I just can't resist taking pictures. Sorry, folks. Beautiful colors there. Wish that barge wasn't there. Gorgeous colors. So if you're having any doubts about the water quality here in North Naples, there, take a look. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful, those clouds just floating over the gulf like that. It's gorgeous. So we look back up the beach. There's a turn flying by. That was a seagull. Just gorgeous though. What a view. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Well, I never found sea turtle nest number 50. One of the park rangers yesterday told me there were 50 nests yesterday. I didn't see number 50. But that's good news. We hit the 50 mark. Hopefully we'll get some more. We've still got a month and a half to go. Let's go for 60 nests. I'm sure we've had a hatching by now, or two or three or four. Did you see those two sea turtles they released here at the beach yesterday? Those are the smaller of the sea turtles. Those are Kemp's Ridley sea turtles. 
two young ladies. Got the thrill of releasing them back into the Gulf. Lucky them. There's a big sea turtle sand sculpture on the beach. Really neat looking. Kind of an obstacle for the nesting sea turtles. They could, they could really get in their way, kind of ironic, but that is a neat sand sculpture, but not the best thing to be doing during nesting season. Very cool looking though, that's for sure. I think I'm guessing that's almost eight feet from head to tail. It's huge. Huge, 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 Caroline. Old Caroline, she's long gone now, huh? <laughs> Now, who do we have, Mackenzie or something? <laughs> I'd love to walk out to this little sandbar out here. See how the light, lighter colored water is out there? That's a sandbar, you can see the waves breaking on it. it. Just gets really deep right here and there's a lot of rocks too between me and that sandbar. There's a sandbar that kind of parallels the whole entire beach. There's some really interesting things to be found out there at low tide. If you ever visit the beach here at Del Norwegians, always remember to look up in the trees. That's where our ospreys hang out, up in these Australian pines. Bald eagles have been spotted in there. You might even see a pelican or two roosting up in one of these pines. If you enjoy these morning beach walks, be sure to tell your friends. Be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. Say hi, introduce yourself to the group. I don't know, nobody pays me to come out and do these live feeds in the morning. I enjoy doing it, but if you want to make a little contribution, it always helps, it comes in handy, helps keep the phone on. Find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later in the replay. I'll also post some photos that will include a link to the video of this beach walk on YouTube. You can watch it in a little higher quality on YouTube. And again, this morning, I spent a while, I don't know how long, I lost track of time, at least 15 minutes running up and down the south end of the beach following a dolphin hoping that it would come in close to shore he came in a couple times but you can see him swimming offshore there like i said I, that was the whole beginning of my beach walk doing that running back and forth it was fun made my morning there's nothing like seeing dolphins in the morning There's a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. The beach comes and goes. It's always changing shape, size. We lose beach, we gain beach. We've 
recently lost a lot of beach up at the north end of the park. A lot of beach has been eroded. But it seems that Mother Nature knows what she's doing. We lose it and then we gain it. It's crazy. Sam Piper and a little snowy egrate up here. There's a little snowy egret. Oh, there's a helicopter flying by. That's one of our mosquito control helicopters. They're actually spraying for mosquitoes just above the treetops. We'll be back and forth a few times. And there's that little snowy egret. These little yellow feet. Beautiful little birds. Keeping an eye on me. Keeping an eye in the water, looking for a little fish to swim by. A little snowy egret. Did it see something out there? There's another one up here, just caught a fish. Oh, where'd he go? I lost him. Oh, he just caught a fish. Darn it. Maybe this other one will catch a fish. Seeing something. Nope. Oh well. I thought maybe we'd see one of them catch a fish. Just missed one though. One did, I missed it. <laughs> Sorry. Good luck there. We're getting close to where we started down in area one this morning. It's a nice beach walk this morning. Didn't find anything really much in the way of seashells. 
Again, we did see that dolphin in the beginning of our walk and then finally, finally found a live nine-armed sea star on one of the new sea, the, one of the new sandbars up in area forest. So that was a nice little surprise. I'm glad the sea stars are alive and out here. I was worried that they all got buried. turn around here. I'm going to give you a look out into the gulf and then a look up to the north behind me one last time and then a look at close up look at that beautiful beautiful water. Here's a look up the beach. Isn't that gorgeous. Our mile of beach here. I'm going to snap a photo off. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful blue sky. Look at this water. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice and clear. You probably remember, oh, four or five months ago, maybe. We were having a horrible bout with the red tide. Fortunately, that's all gone. No signs of red tide. No signs here of that horrible green algae from Lake Okeechobee, Lake O. We're safe down here. Fortunately, thank God. The water is absolutely beautiful out here. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here on Facebook. I'm sure you're going to find something you like, and when you do, don't be afraid to hit that share button. It's all about sharing, spreading the word. It's a little deep there. Beautiful out here. Well, thanks for watching. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.